The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're here in New York City, uh, just chilling. Good times. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Beniculus. I'm actually a comedian. I'm not a male dancer. Lucky for you, I'm not going to be uh, doing all those cool tricks. But uh, I do have your attention, I guess. So might as well tell you some jokes, right? Yeah, let's do this. Um, yeah, I don't know about you guys. I love traveling. Traveling is a great time, isn't it? The best part about traveling, you don't have to bring shampoo or uh, conditioner, right? You just, you just use whoever is like you're staying at, right? That's the best part. You get to try out all new shampoo, conditioners. Hopefully, you get to, you know, they got the good stuff, the organic stuff. You know, that's always a good time. Hey, how's it going, everyone? I was just doing a little stand-up comedy. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, I was just talking about, I was just talking about how it's, it's awesome to use new conditioners and sam and shampoos, right? Especially if it's your friends, right? You can just use however much you want. And when you get some access on there, you, you know, you're like, what do I do with it? I already got my hair. So you start rubbing it in your, your armpit and stuff. You gotta, you gotta get rid of it. You don't want to waste it, right? Just once I want to date a girl that's like, you know, you have really, like, shampooed and conditioned armpits, you know? That, that would be interesting, right? Like, I just want to get that compliment once. I'm sure everyone's gotten it before, but... Anyways, uh, so I went to the dentist the other day, and it was a little awkward. They had the uh, the HDTV show in the lobby, and they are they are doing all this construction and stuff, and I was like, what's going on? Like, I'm worried about my teeth right now. I don't want to have to worry about, like, home improvement as well. It's just like, you know, put some comedy on, right? But, um, anyways. So, um, people were telling me I have really, uh, really colorful socks, I guess. I don't know. They're, they're colorful. They're actually wool socks, so they're super practical. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is they're impractical and practical at the same time. Yeah. But, um... Uh, I got an actual, uh, an organic, non-GMO joke for you guys. Gluten-free as well, actually. Um, you guys ever try that organic deodorant? Oh, it sucks, man. Don't even try it. It's like, why did they even try? They need to go back to the drawing board. It's like, it's basically glue in your armpit. It's not a good time. Yeah, just stick with the chemicals for now. They'll come up with some new stuff. Don't worry. So, uh, guys, I'm actually a male dancer. I'm going to start using these poles, so I'm going to need everyone to clear out. I'm just kidding. I'm a comedian. That's lucky for you. But um, So my friend, he, he lives in Harlem, right? And uh, you can tell he doesn't live with a girl because, like, he's got all these home improvement projects. Like, he's got the chemicals for the shower cleaner right next to the shower that, like, really needs cleaned. And then, like, the Drano right next to the drain that really needs drained. Like... If he was living with a girl, that girl, you already know, she would be like, uh, honey, I'm gonna need you to get on this, like, this is really a problem, but, like, guys, we can, we can wait until there's literally, like, you take a shower and there's, like, a few inches at the bottom of the shower, we're just like, oh, yeah, no, that's good, that's normal, right, that's normal, we're good, we'll hold off, um, so anyways, uh, I'm not accepting cash, actually, that's, that's, the one thing funny about me, everyone's like, hey man, I'm struggling out here. I mean, we're all struggling anyway, so I'm not going to ask you for anything. I wouldn't know what to do with it anyways. Like, where do you spend money in New York? That's not a thing. Like, it's another funny thing about doing, like, traveling. It's like, every time you go to a new shower, you try to get the correct temperature. It's like a physics equation, I swear to God. you got to sit there for five minutes. You don't know how long the water takes to get hot, first of all. It's just like, it's either you touch it like a millimeter and it's scalding. There's a lot of people that like have a lot of confidence in the new microwaves nowadays. They got like 10 different buttons for every meal. It's just like, how many microwave companies have actually gotten sued because their popcorn, people's popcorn got burned? You know what I'm saying? The other day I called the, uh, I didn't know what to do, I called the suicide hotline. Just to make sure it worked, you know. I was concerned for other people. It worked. I was trying to shoot this shit with a guy, but he was just like, dude, you, I need to get back to my job, man. Like, you know, but I guess it makes sense. Don't want to burn up the resources there, you know. I was at the dentist, and the dentist was, uh, we we're, were talking. He was like, hey, you're, uh, you're a comedian. You're on YouTube, right? I'm like, yeah, I'm on YouTube, sure. 
So he pulled up my YouTube video right there next to the uh, the chair. That wasn't awkward at all. I was like, uh, like, yeah, so I'm actually a paramedic. I don't do this for a living, thank God. But um, I was just like, what if I'm on the ambulance, right? And like I'm like, oh, you're on YouTube. Let's pull up your, uh, let's pull up, pause your emergency. Let's pull up your YouTube channel and check that out. That's awesome. Yeah, let's do that. That'd, that'd run over great, right? But, oh, I got some laughs. Though. My friends like, dude, I'm trying to get off hard drugs, but uh, you got any Adderall? That's like, it's prescribed, so it's cool, right? That's like, yo, I'm on a, I'm on a diet, but you got any cheese fries, bro? Like, it doesn't have meat in it, like. It's vegetarian. Do you want to switch or do you want to Yeah, switch? let's get off again. Thanks, guys. Oh, you guys like, no one here like really likes driving, right? Obviously for the subway, you know? Because like, it, it kind of bothers me, especially in New York City. You get up to a stoplight and you're just looking at your phone for a second. The guy behind you, he sees you looking at your phone and he's waiting for the green light just to give you the hump, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I kind of like that because now I don't have to look at the stoplight. I'm like, okay, this is convenient, New York City. I think he's gonna give me, it's like one of my friends. He's like gonna tell me when the light is green, right? Um, anyways, I'm trying some new stuff, I'm gonna bounce around. Um, why do old people get uh, festivals? Like, only young people can go to festivals? Like, why Why can't one time, why can't they have a festival in their retirement home? Like, they just play all the games in one day, like, bingo's going on. It's a good time, invite the grandkids, you know? Uh, the smartest legislation uh, Donald Trump has ever signed? Actually, the prenup, uh, prenups. Those are the best, those are the smartest ones, I think. I don't know. Why do people talk to dogs like they have, uh, like they have a lower IQ? Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you talk to dogs like they like it's a baby, right? You know, you get down, who's the little guy? Who's the little guy? Like, they can't understand you. But uh, you still try, everyone tries, it's a thing, right? Maybe one day. So, I don't, I don't get that word pap smear. I don't even know really what's going on with that. Like, it just makes me not attracted to women. Like, with whatever that is, it's, I don't I don't want to be educated in that realm, but like, I'm just like, don't tell me if you just got back from your pap smear appointment. I don't want to even want to know. I don't want to do a Google search. I don't know what I'm, I don't want to know what's going on, right? Like, I'm confused though. How do people not know how to swim, right? Like, I get it, we're land creatures, right? So it makes sense. But we came into this world swimming as sperm cells, so we should. That's like the first thing we learned. We should alert at least like try to remember the first building blocks, I guess. That's probably why uh, people like Michael Phelps they don't have any twins, right? Because they got to the egg in record time, you know. So like, right? You know. They really broke records, you know? Like, I'm a strong swimmer, you know, so I feel like I could, you know, I feel like I could, if I was a sperm, I could get swallowed, and then, like, some guy that doesn't know how to swim, he could go the actual route, and I would still make it there first, you know? That's how, actually how I got conceived. So, uh, I don't know if you guys are scared of working out, if you're intimidated by that. It's really not that bad. You know, you don't have to go to the gym with any kind of regimen. You can just go to the gym, show up, and find the biggest guy working on the machines. Just go up to that guy and act like you know what you're doing. So like, hey, can I work in? He's like, yeah, no, it's fine. They usually they're super cool about it, right? So you guys get to work it out. He's gonna correct you on everything that you do for the rest of the session. You don't even have to try. Like you got your hundred dollar personal trainer and you made a friend at the same time. Like it's, it's a good time. Guys, I'm actually a comedian from Virginia. I'm just here traveling, uh, trying to pursue dreams. You know, good good times. Uh, in Virginia, I actually live in one of those things called a tiny home. It's, they're, they're big on the rise, you know what I'm saying? Tiny homes are definitely getting uh, getting uh, more credit than they're due. And, uh, but it, it didn't start out that way. Like, uh, it was, it's kind of like a converted travel trailer. So everyone thinks like, everyone's seen uh, Breaking Bad. Everyone's like, oh, you must be a meth dealer. That's what's up. I'm like, no, no, I'm not a meth dealer. But, uh, but at least now I feel like I kind of have some empathy on what being a, uh, an oppressed minority is like, you know? Just a little bit, um, not, not too much, but I got a little sprinkle of it, I guess. But anyways, uh. I don't know if I
if y'all can see, but I had to go get some dollar pizza after uh, doing some jokes in the subway. It was a good time, so let's go get it. Got these young dollar slices. We good to go, we good to go. Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm actually a comedian. Uh, I got some jokes for you guys today, I hope you don't mind. When I say I'm a comedian, I'm like, uh, I'm like one of the psychotic people that tell people jokes and like make them laugh. That's like slightly socially less awkward than actual psychotic people, so it's not really a great title. It's, it's, uh, it's just something I, I throw in to get people, <laughs> letting people know I'm going to tell a joke, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, I hope you guys aren't, uh, or I hope it's not a tough train. It kind of seems like a tough train right now. Is that, is that what's going on? Not like you guys, like this this train, it's really tough. I, I hope we get to the next stop safely, yeah. No, but, um, yeah, so uh, it's hard to meet women in New York, am I right? Like, I was at a stoplight the other day. I was trying to talk to this girl, she was kind of cute. Uh, I was like, look, we don't have a lot of time. It's going to turn green. Let me just go ahead and get your number.